Educado. Eh, educado. Nuestro, más de... nuestro tío. ¿Cuál de todos? El tío de nosotros, Mr. Love. Uh -huh. ¿O ¿Cómo es? Eh, bro Brother Love. Brother Love. Brother Love. Sean Combs. Sean Combs, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy. Mm. What, what, what do you call him? Diddy. Yeah, I call him P. Diddy. You call him P. Diddy. Yeah, P. Diddy. I call him Diddy. Nah, I call him P. Diddy. Hey, yo, Diddy. Nah. Yo, you, you heard what Diddy say? Nah, P. Diddy. Uh, to me, it's P. Diddy. Hey, yo, you heard P. Diddy. I think, I think, that, I think that dictates... Some people call him Puff, though. No, but that's what I'm getting at. I think that dictates, like, in the era that you call him. I think that dictates that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean? Because if you're calling him Puff, you're, you're, way, you're like 80s. If you're calling him Puff... Not it, 80s. He was not even that crazy in the 80s. No, if you're calling him Puff, you you're call early '90s, like '91. Oh yes, 90s. I'm sorry because I was I was born in the '90s, that's why I'm thinking '80s. But yeah, you're you're, you're early '90s. Puff, you're, you're, you're calling him Puff. You know what I mean? I, I feel mean, like if you call him Puff Daddy. You <laughs> knew him '98. Mm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say more mid '90s. I'm gonna say more mid '90s towards okay. the late. Okay, so brother Anyways, love, though, brother love, you're like in the 2000s. You, you was born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, because 2000 is. Uh, it's Diddy. No, when did he change his name? He changed his name like 2015? No, it was like two years ago. We were in, we were in the podcast already. So it was okay, like so 2018. 16, 16, 17. No, 2018. We were in the podcast. Like, we oh, were in, in, like, in the podcast? We were, oh, okay. Yeah, we were so in. Like, it was so like, like 2018, right. something like that. Like two, two, three years ago. This nigga said, oh, my name now is Brother Love. Love. <laughs> like, the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here with your Diddy ass. <laughs> so Diddy, Puff. Puff Daddy P Diddy Brother Love, right? Tweet it. We're done letting corporations manipulate our culture into believing incremental progress is acceptable in action. If you love us, pay us. Here's my letter to corporate America. <sighs> and just, what, what happened? What happened with this post? La gente le dieron hasta con el cubo del agua. A Puff Daddy, Brother Love, Diddy, P. Diddy. Yo, so this is what happens with, with, with what he's saying, right? Um, I, you know, I'm just going to go before I'm going to go his point and then, my, and then I'm going to talk about what the people are saying, okay. right? So, you know, I think it's, it's, a big, it's a big move of him making the statement, right? Because the reality is, is that most of these corporations are not ran by the same people who are representing these corporations right yeah. in other words what i'm saying is who the people who are becoming the face of this organization are still workers for this organization right uh -huh. the owner and who is the person who's producing the money um one are not the same skin tone they're you know they're really what they're doing is you're a subject you're a product i am selling you and i'm making the profit out of you yeah. yes you're getting paid but you probably should be getting paid more so does he have a point yes he has a point now i know he's getting demolished killed Demolishing these comments. Killed. But I'm going to defend Diddy on this. Defend him. You need to learn how to do good business. Yeah. You need to learn how to do good business. That's true. Because in the end of the day, when me and you sit on a table and we're talking about business, I'm in. I'm looking for my interest and you're looking for yours. If I, can, if I can convince you that what I just presented to you on this plate, that's amazing that table. This, that this is water. That this drink is water. And it's not water. And, but this drink is the water that you actually want to drink. But I want this water. And this water does not convene me. I could just say, you know what? Are we going to mix both waters and we're both going to be happy? But I'm going to put more on my... You got to put more on your water than mine so you can be better. Okay, because you haven't drank the water. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm saying. But we, we, In a business standpoint, though, yes. like, oh, your water doesn't... doesn't doesn't comply with my water right now. Okay, so but let's okay. mix the waters. But that's when the percentages come in. Yeah, but that's the thing. See, like, see, tú te deja, if you if you just let the person who's presenting you the money kind of dictate the entire thing, and you have no budget on it, yes, motherfucker, you're gonna get a bad deal. So yes, Diddy wasn't paying these guys because these guys were just, you know what, you, you know what, you know what, exactly. You know what they were saying. You know what they were saying. You know what? I'm gonna get hot. I'm gonna get hot. So give me whatever you want. And I'm gonna get hot. I mean, and then what he did was like, you know what? Uh, those masters, if you read the contract right, those masters are mine. This is mine. <laughs> oh, royalties. Oh yeah, this this this, this percentage yeah, that's mine. I, I'm getting it. a seventy. You're getting a thirty. You go with that exactly. So you know what I mean? I think you know. At the end of the day, you know, I think everybody makes a business move in their interest. Yeah. If you happen to you know be on the good side of that of that deal, congratulations. 
There's nothing to be said about that. Yeah. But if you happen to be on the bad deal, you know, yeah, there's always that person talking like, oh, I did this, I brought this. Well, nigga, we gave you a deal and you said yes. You signed that shit. You signed it. That's I can't what, who told you? That's what Joe Biden be saying. That's what Joe Biden be going crazy. He's like, yo, read your deals. I went through all that shit, so you guys don't have to. Read your deals. I read your deals. I sign stupid deals all the time. Read your deals. Read your deals. Read them shits. I mean, I do, I do this shit with the clubs all the time. There's some clubs where I get deals and I'm like, oh, this nigga has no clue what the fuck is coming. Because I know it's too banging of a deal for me. Yeah. You know? And then and then after it happens, they're complaining. I'm like, well, motherfucker, I told you right you, to your face. You said, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, I want 25% of the bar. Yeah, let me get Oh, that. you know what? Yes, we'll give it to you. And Say I nice. also need and I also need $1,000 for DJs. You got it. And in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah, they fucking the fuck out. <laughs> pero, pero, and I need the door just in case. Exactly. Actually, no, definitely need the door. Definitely need the door. Right, cool, question. Say less. Pero, te estoy diciendo que a veces son, son, there's deals that are just kind of like, as a as a, as a as a business person, right? I'm always gonna pitch you a deal that is gonna give me a bargaining rate, and uh-huh. st- and I'm still gonna get in a position where I where I can deal with, right? Yeah. Example, right? Let's say like I asked for twenty five percent from a bar, which is ridiculous. I would never ask that. But for example, let's say I did, right? I still have a ten percent range where I'm like, you know what? Si él me dice un yo lo cojo. Yeah, I'll take a twenty. Because in reality, I'll take a ten. <laughs> no, I'll take a fifteen. I won't take a ten. I'll take a fifteen. But whatever. Like, but but do you see where I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah. Like it gives you that range. So as a business person, I think you have to kind of take that in consideration. You, you know, have to go. Shoot. You have to shoot you, up. You, you got to go in with a plan, and I feel like that's what a lot of artists that signed they to don't. Diddy didn't do. They just went in there like, "Yo, let's sign this thing and let's get it popping." But also back then, shit wasn't like now. Like, oh, for people sure. People no. didn't know. It no, was just sure. more like. I oh. mean, I'm pretty sure Diddy didn't know it was gonna be like all crazy. I mean, he knew he was gonna make more money than them, but definitely knew he was gonna yeah, make definitely, more money. Definitely, than them. definitely. But he didn't. He he didn't have in his head is like, yo, we're gonna make billions of dollars. Yeah, it, he was I, probably I, thinking I, millions of dollars. Now, this nigga's a billionaire, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, the good life. Like, Ooh, I can 